Hello, my name is Mario Lucero. I am Agile Coach, and today I'd like to discuss about pair programming. Proponents of pair programming, pairing, claim that it boosts long-term productivity by substantially improving the quality of the code. But it's fair to say that for a number of reasons, pairing is by far the most controversial and least universally embraced of the Agile programmer practices. All code to be sent into production is created by two people working together as a single computer. Pair programming increases software quality without impacting time to deliver. It is counterintuitive, but two people working together at the single computer will add as much functionality as two working separately, except that it will be much higher in quality. With increased quality comes big savings later in the project. About be best practice. First of all, prepare together for the coding you are going to do so that no misconceptions will be developed during coding. Start with a well-defined task before you sit down. The task should be something you are confident that you can complete in an hour or two. Agree on a solution. Decide on general strategy to tackle the task that you agreed upon. You may find it helpful to outline what you plan to do before you begin to code. This ensures that you both know what are you working on right now. Rely and support your partner. Another best practice is one person is the driver and the other person is the observer. When you are the driver, complete the current small goal as quickly as you can, ignoring largest issues. Trust the observer to be your safety net. When you are the observer, read the code that the driver is writing as he or she writes. Your job is code review. You should pay total attention, aiming to let nothing get by you. Think about possible bugs, larger issues, and ways to simplify or improve the design. Talk a lot. Say what you are about to do. Ask for an implementation idea. Ask for a better way to solve the problem at hand. Bring out alternative ideas, point out possible inputs that the code doesn't cover, suggest clear names, suggest ways to implement the code in smaller steps, etc. When people are paying well, they are talking back and forth almost non-stop. Sync up frequently. Make sure you always know what your partner is doing. If not, sync up again. If you are spending five minutes or more out of sync, you might as well be coding solo because it's the frequent resizing that creates the synergy of pairing. Switch role often at least every half hour. Well, my name is Mario Lucero, I am a child coach. They are my private information that you can reach me at, email or Twitter. And of course you can enjoy my blog www.marilucero.cl Enjoy it.